parkour. <laughs> so much room for activities. My butt's wet now. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ventures of Spackman. Today, we're building a freestanding tent frame for a canvas hot tent. Stick around, this is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into it. So a company by the name of Unigear reached out to me, asking me if I wanted to test out one of their tents. And I responded saying that I, I really wasn't interested in testing out their tent. It didn't, didn't interest me at all, to be honest. So they asked me if I wanted to test out any other products that they offered. And I told them that I had a project that I needed some tarp poles for, and they happened to have some. So I asked them if they'd send me four sets of them, and they agreed if I tested out their tent. So next week, their tent testing video is coming up, so look forward to that, guys. So the project that I was interested in doing was making a frame for a canvas hot tent. I've wanted to get a canvas hot tent since I've gotten into hot tenting, but the price tag on canvas hot tents are just really insane. For a comparable snow trekker tent to the one that I'm making right now, you're looking at $1,200 to $1,500. This one is under $500, so it is a great option to get into canvas hot tenting. Each set of poles comes with two poles that are about eight feet long. One end has a spike to go through your tarp grommet, and the other one is a blunted, blunted end. It's kind of pointy to kind of stick into the ground like that. I needed to cut these poles down to seven feet, three inches. So I ended up taking one and just cutting it down into a smaller section for each set of my poles to make it the length that I need for my specific tent. Now let's see what I got to put the poles together. So the first pole connectors that I ended up buying for the project were these greenhouse little 45 degree angle three-way adapters. They fit the poles perfectly. And if your angles on your hot tent are 45 degrees, this would work perfect. My original plan was to heat this up and bend it to the angle that I wanted, but I didn't want to do that. So where'd I go? AliExpress. They have quite a few different options on AliExpress for different poles, different pole attachments. I found this one. It's got a ball on the top to go into your tent fabric, and it's got two swiveling pole attachment points that accepts a pole like this. And then you can make a different pitch, a different angle for your, your poles, right? For your tent. It also has a hook right here to hang stuff from, lantern, yeah, lantern, pretty much. Or anything else you really want. If you're in a hot tent, you can hang stuff up right there to, to dry from the heat. Now, what really interests me about these, I'm not gonna show you in this video, but this is just one option that I found. But this, what about a center poleless teepee? <laughs> right? You got two poles going down the side of your teepee and the ball going into the peak, no pole coming down. We'll be trying that, trust me. These, these, these things might come in handy. But the ones that I found that I'm gonna be using for this video are these ones. They accept two poles down in here and then one in the top, essentially creating a three-way connection point. So the poles go in like this. This happens to be almost the exact angle that we need for this, for, for this specific hot tent here, the canvas one that I'm doing. All right, so these ones go in here. Pretend they're at an angle. It's kind of hard to hold those. <laughs> and then the top one clips in, just like that, guys. I ended up picking up four of these. I wasn't sure how well they were gonna work and how many we were gonna need for this build, but we'll find out. So I, I ended up taking one whole set of poles and putting them all together to make a 14, 14 and a half foot long pole. I have it going through the ridge line. In this end, I put a stake through that pole and through this grommet here, or this tie out, holding this end. And then down here, I took the spiky part of the pole and put it through there. So let's get this tent put up, I guess. <laughs> let's, see how, let's see how it does, at least. First pole went in rather smoothly, but the second pole might be an issue. Down into the grommet. See how I did that here? Just going right into the grommet. 
Oh, wow. Did you guys just see that? That slid in there so well. All right, this side. This side is just about good. Let's go over to the other side. So once again, through the grommet that goes to the ground, and then I'm gonna slide the connection part onto the top. And then this clip goes to the ridge line pole. <laughs> oh guys, this, <laughs> this is working out way better than I hoped. Let's, let's see how easy it is to get it up in the air. <laughs> All right, this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the whole project. Maybe. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> That was, that was wicked easy, wicked easy. So I told you that I bought four of these. I'm gonna use one for another set of poles. <laughs> Just like that, no more sag and ridge line. Right now you can see how there's sag in the walls, right? And so we're gonna take this pole, pull that one tight, and then stick it into the ground. Pull that out. See how there's tension on that rope now? Stick that into the ground. <laughs> I can't tell you, <clears throat> I can't tell you how excited this makes me. Pull that tight and then back into the ground. Boom guys, freaking freestanding canvas hot tent. Under 500 bucks, that is a, a ton of room. Let me show you, watch this guys. Walking under the whole thing. Woo! <laughs> so much room for activities. My butt's wet now. Before we go any further, my buddy watches my videos with, with his son, Jackson. He just turned nine on Friday, so I wanted to say happy birthday to Jackson. I hope he had a great day and enjoy the drum set they got for you. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's my, that's my best, uh, drum impersonation. <laughs> Look at this guys, this is freaking awesome. This external frame gives us the ability to set up this hot tent anywhere. It's freestanding now. These end walls, I've shown you guys at least three times now that I've been putting canvas drop cloths over these ends here. I think it might be time to actually sew them onto this. What do you guys think? Add a zipper to the front of it, close in both ends. Let me know what you guys think, because I think that's the next step in this canvas hot tent. What else does this frame open up the possibilities for? A wicked, cheap, freestanding hot tent. The stuff in the description down below. To Unigear's poles and these pole connectors, all my pole connectors, I'll leave it all down below. To the Pole Molly canvas hammock hot tent. So yeah, I'll leave links to all this stuff down below. Next week I'm testing Unigear's tent, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about this. It's freestanding tent frame for a canvas hot tent. I am on my way to making the cheapest canvas hot tent I can get. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next week.